The Minnesota Twins have been extremely busy already in just the first week since the World Series ended. Who all was moved? The Minnesota Twins entered the offseason after a playoff appearance in 2017 knowing that they had to create roster space on the 40-man roster and also make other moves early on in the offseason. Here's a quick rundown of all the goings on. Lefty reliever Randy Rosario has struggled in the major leagues, but he has raw talent to be an excellent reliever down the road, but he was a late conversion to the bullpen after spending significant time in the system as a starter. He was claimed by the Chicago Cubs when the Twins attempted to put him through waivers to remove him from the 40-man roster. Divisional rival Chicago White Sox claimed outfielder Daniel Palka off of waivers when the Twins attempted to move him off of the 40-man. Palka was acquired in a trade with the Diamondbacks that sent backup catcher Chris Hermon to the D-backs in the 20152016 offseason. Palka has hit fairly well in two seasons in the twin system, but he hasn't been able to crack the major leagues. Lefty Nick Turley was a revelation this season, signing as a minor league free agent, and then performing exceptionally well in the minor leagues, with 92 innings thrown, with a 2.05 era, 1.01 whip, and a 29,124 BBK ratio. He struggled in the major leagues, though, with an 11.21 era over 1723 major league innings. He was claimed by the Pirates after the Twins placed him on waivers. Previously on the 40-man roster, elected free agents I the first one we learned about this offseason was the announcement that Glenn Perkins would have his option declined by the Twins and would become a free agent. The other free agents declared on Thursday, November 2nd. Pitchers Dylan G, Hector Santiago, Bartolo Colon, and Matt Belisle will all draw a level of interest but not likely going to be top-level free agents. Lefty reliever Ryan O'Rourke, catcher Chris Jimenez, and utility man Nico Goodrum were each designated for assignment, but because they had enough service time in the minor leagues, they were able to become free agents. Minor league free agents taken from an extensive list from Baseball America, the Twins have 19 minor league free agents this offseason. A number of these may resign with the club, but for now, they're available to sign with other clubs. Pitchers Henry Centeno, Chris Heston, David Hurlbut, Cam Micolio, Johan Pino, Derek Rodriguez, Matt Tresci catchers Carlos Paulino, Jason Perez, DeVincent Pimentel infielders Tommy Field, Matt Haig, Leonardo Reginato, Jonathan Rodriguez, Andy Wilkins outfielders J.B. Shuck, Ryan Strauss Borger The biggest name on this list of guys is definitely Derek Rodriguez. The son of Hall of Fame catcher Ivan Rodriguez, Derek started in the organization as an outfielder, and after three years attempting that, he changed course to the mound, and he's made excellent progress since. Hopefully the Twins can reach a deal with him to bring him back. While he's not Major League ready right now, there is certainly Major League caliber talent in his arm, and he could have a future role in a Major League bullpen or as a back-end starter. While other players were lost through waivers or free agency, the Twins sold the contract of right-hand reliever to Japan and released him.